Hey there everybody, MegabitGamer here, and if you caught this last time, uh, in our last video, uh, we started a new vault here, this is Vault 911, and we sent one guy out with pathetic stats to uh, do a little exploring. And let's see, he's still alive, he's actually found some caps. Uh, everybody finds that fugitive slave apparently on the way out there. I wonder why nobody ever helps that dude, he's probably a dick. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna close that. He's doing pretty good out there with his fist. And here in a little bit, we'll go ahead and, uh, oh, there we go. Go over a few things. Okay, daily report. We've got nothing to go over. Okay. So there's this. There's the starter pack. Then there's these additional ones, the Nuka Colas. Uh, speed things up. Really speed them up. Wow. <laughs> that is not a microtransaction right there. That is a heck of a transaction. Okay. Lunch boxes. Gotta collect them all. Twins or triplets? Now, didn't they give out a Mr. Handy at first to people? Oh, what's this? Is this what I think it is? Is that the starter pack? We're going to open that here in a second. Let's just do one more check on our guy here, because usually... Armored vault suit. Yep. He's getting some decent stuff, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and do that opening here. Bum ba bum 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 ba da bum bum. Ooh, I'll take bread box. First card. Let's cross our fingers. Water. Well. Human body is 80% water. You can't live without water. So I guess it's a very important resource, isn't it? Okay, next card. Food. I'm gonna starve without food. Unless you eat the other vault dwellers. That, no, 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 no. Okay, well, let's go for this other card here. Power. Looks like we're gonna get one of each, okay? Stim packs, all right. Those could be useful. Well, we kind of already sent that dude out without any stem packs. So, we'll see. Right away. Caps. Mmm, tasty, tasty caps. Who do we get? Oh, that's Nuka Cola Quantum times 10. Oh, wow. It just wasn't one. This must be the one that just kind of is. Uh, able to pop up so different amounts we got really lucky here your guys uh, fingers being crossed is coming through on the interwebs Albert Lane you know what? you guys should comment down below I don't remember who Albert Lane is right now he looks like a very well be a little bit more uh, sensitive about this. He looks very flamboyant, if you know what I mean. He looks like a very flamboyant gentleman. You know, like uh, his whiskers are gonna tickle your butthole kind of thing. <laughs> oh man. Albert Lane. Guys, I, I seriously have no idea who that is. Uh, I'm sure you guys will give me crap about this, but uh, comment down below. School me on who Albert Lane is. I'm not in the least bit remembering who he was. Okay, let's go to the next card. Philip Payne. Oh, that's a dweller. What we got? Mr. Handy. Always a pleasure to serve you, sir. Okay, and what we got? Ooh. Bastet. Times for wasteland return speed. 
Bastard. Uh, I get it, Bastard. 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 <laughs> I can't call him Bastard, he's Bastard. Oh my god, this has got to be the best pet ever. I got a pet Bastard. Oh. Amada? You, you have to be shitting me. Like one of the first Fall Dwellers we really interact with in 101. We get freaking Amada. I want to do bad things to her. Just, just like bad things, dirty, good things, you know, kind of things. Like, like you played with our Lone Wanderer's head so badly. Amada, you're a cock tease. You are a cock tease. That's what you are. Oh my gosh, my father's so bad. Blah, 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 blah. And then she, like, wants you to usurp him. If you kill him, you're bad. And if you, you manage to do the where, one where you don't kill him and you get out of there, that's actually a little bit more complicated. The steps you go. But then she acts like a total dick anyway. She... You know, she basically doesn't know what the hell she wants. Like... Most scenarios. And then later on she blames you for it. Because you did what she wanted. Amada, you are a cock tease. A psycho cock tease. Okay. That was it for those. Okay, I, I think that was five dollars well spent. Oh. And here's the lunchbox. I did something good, something good. Caps. Yes. Oh, Agent Provocateur. You can already tell it's got like the outline of boobies on the uh, one side there to the left side and right side of it. So it's one of these. Provocateur. Okay. Toy car, because you guys know you aren't provocative, you just want to buy your junk and be like, hey, look what I got. Why? Because we're kind of a dare. Okay. So, Mr. Handy collects resources. We're going to put him on the first floor. The question is though, does Mr. Handy take up a slot? No, no, he goes all on the floor. Okay, so this guy. Yeah, this guy. He is good in the P. Who's our low P? She is. She's gonna go there. And he will go right there. Philip Payne is also good in the pee. Mm. Made this real easy. S A P. Amada. Being the tar that you are and confused as you are, I can believe that your special abilities are spread all across everything else except for strength because you don't have the strength to take care of your own father. So, <sighs> Charisma. Yep, she definitely suckered us into doing her deeds and helping us get out of the vault. Hmm... Most people say, oh no, she she will help you get out of the vault because, oh my god, people, stop it. Stop messaging and sending through your statuses. But, uh, you know, she helped us get out of the vault, so to say. Uh, you served her father's will, etc., etc. But, uh, you know, she also like, was trying to get us to do something to her father. 
Plain and simple, we all know she wanted us to kill him. She pretty much made it factual, like, oh, there's no way to get around my father. <laughs> yeah, there was. You just had to do the timing right. Get around everybody. I escaped that place. She has a gun. Hmm. Oh, crap. I put his charismatic butt in there with her. <sighs> She's going to be knocked up. Oh, Fallout Breeder. The new simulation. You got to be able to read on face like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Well, obviously Brian's going to escape to the wasteland at some point because... You know he's got to run away. Can't, can't be around. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I ain't paying for that, baby. Uh-uh. Not one bit. Mm-mm. Want to play some cards? He's like, what do you mean I want to play no cards? <laughs> okay. So we got to remember, keep Brian away from the girls. Because Brian got his penis out. Like, instantly. I, th I told you that was going to happen. That's that guy skill right there. It's like, I got a penis. I got a penis over here. <laughs> okay. So, we need to build some diner. We're just going to take care of these basics right here so we can continue to build stuff. Smash. Smash the score rock. Okay, power generation's good. Living quarters, finish that up. And water treatment. Water treatment. Okay, just blew a bunch of caps for the water treatment stuff. And you know what? We're gonna make it a little bit of a death call, call trap here, because Raiders, Death Claws, they all go all the way across to one side versus the other, so first floor is just going to be nothing but power generation. be nice if we put more over there, but no. You can. And available is now the mid day. Now, there's little resource ones like that, like the med bay and stuff. Those are ones that I kind of like to do a tube blocker. Okay, so that's going to take our intelligence. And Amon is not exactly smart. But then again, most of these aren't. She's pretty good. Oh, I was kind of hoping he'd be the doctor. That way he could be like every girl coming there like, Hey, I'm the doctor. Doctor Love. Okay, so it kind of looks like Amada is the best choice. Oh, man. Kind of funny that the one girl who always ran to the med bay where you and your father lived in 101 is now going to this one. Oh, let me get the science lab. That's going to be our right away and stuff, right? Oh, let's build it. Aren't you guys glad I got that uh, little package? Yeah. Kind of speeds along the process of this. Oh, we got another lunchbox. Yep. We'll save that for next time. And we're going to check on our guy, Ronald. 
Let's see what Ronald got here. Got a few caps. Wait, what did he identify? And crazy to take on this year. Identified a savage dog. It's by the Yagwai. Yep, he definitely is not very lucky at the moment. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright, we got some caps. Man, look at all the freaking caps we've blown through already. Blown through like 3,000 caps. It doesn't take much either. The caps go pretty freaking fast. Well, if you guys like this video, um, go ahead and uh, pound that uh, subscribe button and give us a little like. Uh, we'll do more videos here and have some more fun with Vault 911 and see what happens because uh, so far this vault's pretty dang populated. People just keep showing up. And I imagine here soon, uh, once this vault gets up there a little bit more, uh, we'll probably start seeing other visitors show up a lot more too and <laughs> I'm not necessarily talking about uh, the kind we want well yeah yeah Denise it is the perfect job for you weird noises You're still here? You see they're writing down some stuff? Go down below, put some comments. See, they're subscribing. They're subscribing right now. They're writing their subscriptions. They're gonna mail it in. If there's a post office. <laughs> 